Another round, Foam Grasshopper worked well. well we uh, decided to give it a try after some rain, and we started out with a tube fly, and got this bass to take, and then we switched to a grasshopper. There's a white one that we tie in a foam, with foam, and it was a size, size 12 uh, hook. And we started working it uh, in the shallows, since uh, it rained, we usually see the bass in those areas, and here's a bass that took it. Not bad. And then uh, we started working another side of the pond, in the back pond, and got this bass to strike, missed it, and then he went back again and took it. So on the second uh, hit, we got him. Good stuff. Not a bad looking bass. So while we were uh, in that spot, we noticed uh, a bunch of bedding bluegill, so we decided to play with some bluegill. And they definitely like the uh, foam grasshopper. There's one. And then right after that, another one. That's two, three, four, five, six. And then we started working way where the feeder creek enters in the back pond, and we got uh, this guy to take. This was a, a green grasshopper this time, just slightly bigger size 10 uh, hook instead of a 12. And he took, we ended up measuring him in about 13 inches. And then uh, r second cast right after that one, cast into the pond area here, and got this guy to strike on top. Also went about 13 inches. Not a bad looking bass. So we uh, end this round with a bluegill taking the uh, green grasshopper. So lots of fun. All right, so until next time, we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.